Proverbs 4 verse 7 says, Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore get wisdom, and with all thy getting get understanding. Without wisdom, the application of knowledge will be vague. When God, true King Solomon, wrote that wisdom is the principal thing, it is because he understood the value of wisdom. The importance and value of wisdom were stressed in the second chapter of Proverbs. Proverbs 2 verse 3 to 5 says, Cry out for wisdom and beg, shout out loud for understanding. Search, seek for it like silver and haunt, search for it like hidden treasure. Then you will understand, respect, fear, all for the Lord and you will find that you know God. Without wisdom, you cannot know God. Without wisdom, you cannot live right. Proverbs 1 verse 7 speaks of the primary source and the beginning of wisdom. It says that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. The first and primary source of wisdom is reverencing God. Without wisdom, godly wisdom, it is impossible to dominate the earth as God has called us to do. However, aside from godly wisdom, there are other sources of wisdom that we must tap into and harness to fulfill and do all that God has called us to do. Such wisdom is based on the principles in which the system of the world works. Here are eight sources of wisdom to tap into and harness. Number one, the company you keep. A popular piece of advice says, we are the average of the five people we surround ourselves with. In this world of wisdom, like begets like, and like attracts like. You attract your kind of people. Therefore, while seeking wisdom, you should be careful of the company that you keep around you. You might want to follow the path of wisdom, but if the people around you are the direct opposite of what you seek, you might never end up attracting wisdom because you are surrounded by people who will not keep, maintain, and make use of wisdom. The people around you are bound to influence your life's choices and the way you think and act. The company you keep can either make you wiser or dumber. Allowing God to bring the right company to you, instead of just choosing your friends based on proximity, allow God to bring the right company to you, instead of choosing your friends just based on proximity, availability, or familiarity. Number two, discipline. Discipline is correction with love. Hebrews 12 verse 6 says, For whom the Lord loves, he chastens, and scourges every son whom he receives. God is interested in our growth and prosperity. Hence, he's always quick to discipline us and pull us out of the wrong fields. Without discipline, it is impossible to know right from wrong. Hence, Proverbs 23 verse 13 encourages parents, guidance, and elderly ones to discipline the children and leave them right. Don't fail to discipline your children. The rod of punishment will not kill them. Physical discipline may well save them from death. Discipline instills wisdom in the heart of everyone. The memory of discipline serves as a reminder to distinguish between good and evil and run away from evil. Discipline preaches and gives wisdom because it gives the reason why doing the wrong thing is wrong and why doing good is beneficial. Number three, observation. It is foolishness to get into a new place or get with new people without trying to observe the place or understand the kind of person they are. Observe a place or people. Observing a place or people helps you become aware of the probable pitfalls or good things that you can attract or should avoid. It is wisdom to get into a new place and try to understand the people who live there, their way of life, their standard of living, their systems of operations, and all. Without the wisdom that comes from observation, you find yourself falling in and out of different troubles and situations that could be well avoided. Ecclesiastes 7 verse 25 says, I applied my heart to know and to search and to seek out wisdom and the reason of things and to know the wickedness of folly, even of foolishness and madness. To find wisdom, you have to search for it. Observe your environment. Number four, growth. Wisdom comes with growth 
as long as you are open-minded and ready to learn. Growth comes with learning, on learning, and relearning. And you have to be ready to take in and absorb all of life's lessons. As you grow, you gain new experiences, meet new people, face new challenges. Your previous knowledge and all you thought you knew will be challenged and you will have to make different decisions and choices based on the new knowledge that you have acquired over time. Number five, reading books. There's much knowledge and wisdom contained in books. Just like academically smart people read academic books a lot to be that smart, you have to read books about life and dealing with the responsibilities that come with life to be smart in life. The people who control the world powers and economy are great leaders. It is their reading that exposed them to the knowledge and wisdom that took them to greater heights. People who do not read rarely go far in life. People get mentored just by reading the books of certain people. And just like mentoring makes life easier for the mentees, so does reading. Reading helps you see the world from the shoulders of the author, giving you a better perspective, knowledge and experience of life just by looking through the eyes of the author via his or her books. Number six, the word of God. Reading the Bible exposes you to so much wisdom and knowledge that you cannot fathom. It gives you much more insights to deeply understand the how and why of things and people and how the world operates. Reading the Bible is submitting yourself to be guided by the Holy Spirit. The Word of God gives you godly wisdom and it also directs you to search for and acquire wisdom. Number seven, hearing and listening. By paying attention to the people who are your guardians, teachers, parents, people who have been there for you, people who have been there before you, you gain wisdom. This is where discipline comes in. Number eight, God's gift. Wisdom is also a gift from God. James 1 verse 5 says, If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God, who gives generously to all, without finding fault, and it will be given to you. God gives wisdom to those who ask for it. Therefore, in your seeking of wisdom, ask God. God bless you.